We are in our dis uh, display garden today and we're going to talk about uh, pre-bloom care. Okay, so we're going to start with tidying around the iris. Um, so that would be any kind of debris like leaves, you pick up any weeds you have around the plants, pull those out. Um, and then you can go to work on the fans themselves. So anytime you have brown foliage like that, you can just kind of follow the, the foliage down to where it's green and then snip it off. One of the reasons why you want to clean up is to kind of get ahead of something like this, which is leaf spot. You can see the brown spores on the fans. That's evidence of leaf spot. Um, one of the ways you can control it too is by spraying a general purpose fungicide. Um, you can leave it. Um, it's going to be more pre present in wet climates. Um, it will overwinter though, so the more you can do to control it, the better luck you're going to have the following year. This is also the time of year to work on slug control. Um, we've been putting down bait here in the garden for about two months, so whatever uh, bait you prefer, now would be the time to do it because slugs and snails will go after your iris this time of year. Another method is eggshells. Um, so you want to make sure you grind the eggshells up pretty finely um, so it affects the slugs as they uh, crawl over the shells. And you just sprinkle it around the plant like so. You can also do filbert shells, similarly. So another slug control method would be a beer trap. Uh, so what you need for that is a shallow container like this, and then a can of beer. And you just fill up the container. And this would be best suited uh, right after a heavy rain. Another great slug or snail control would be uh, keeping ducks, if you can do it. Ducks are going to be really good at uh, suppressing any slugs or snails you may have in your garden. Final pre-bloom care would be fertilizing. Uh, we have two fertilizers here, a four pound bag and a one pound bag, um, six, 10, 10, so low nitrogen. It's sprinkled around and then you can uh, water it in or wait for the rain to come and water it in for you. It's important to get your iris fertilized this time of year. It's gonna give you the best chance to see good blooms this year. Uh, we'll be following up later in the year with other applications of fertilizer uh, in the summer and fall.